Hello my friends and welcome back to the cottage kitchen here at the Elliott Homestead. It's been a few weeks since we've been with you in our own kitchen, but we've been having a grand old time gallivanting around the island of Sicily. We ate so much delicious food and met so many incredible people. So you're gonna notice a little bit of a change in some of the content that's coming through on the channel for the next few months as we share these experiences that we got to have over there with you all. We're gonna get started today and I feel like it's the perfect way to start this journey together. But before we go there, I want to introduce you to a few people that you're gonna be meeting throughout these videos. The first is my friend Dolores Toronto who was so kind and so helpful. You're gonna see her in almost all the videos because we went through Sicily together. Now, this whole trip started as a dream in Dolores's heart and I'm so glad that she included us in on it. I'm gonna put Dolores' Substack and Instagram information right below the video here, Dolores Abella Figura. She is such a wonderful person and we had an incredible time. You're also gonna see Dolores' husband, Drew, and her two-year-old son, Angelo, who we toured through Sicily with as well. You're also gonna meet my friend, John Viola, who is host of the Italian American podcast. John has an incredible understanding of the history of Sicily. This is where his parents and grandparents and great grandparents come from. So he understands it from a cultural perspective. And that was really helpful as we sort of just discovered the food and what it means to eat there and what it means to live there. He also provided us with a ton of contacts that we got to meet while we were there. You can check him out. He's the host of the Italian American podcast. I'm going to put his information below the video as well. So in this video, we land in Palermo and we dive right in. But before we go there, I also wanna thank Kami Kodo for sponsoring this video. Whether I'm in my home kitchen here on the farm or whether I'm traveling through Sicily, <laughs> Kami Kodo knives are the knives that I wanna use and for a good reason. These are Japanese steel knives that craftsmen take years and years to make. Literally years go into making one knife you really see that artistry come alive when you see these knives arrive in your kitchen. They're gonna be delivered in this gorgeous ashwood box, which keeps it really safe when it travels, whether you wanna take it somewhere or just when it's being delivered to you. Or if you wanna store it in your kitchen, it gives you kind of a nice place to tuck it. I keep mine all lined up right behind me because I use them so often. If you're not sure what knife to begin with, I would really encourage you to try their vegetable knife. It's one of my favorites, in fact, we just had some friends over for dinner and they picked it up and they said, holy cow, like what is this knife? I said, that's my Kamikoto vegetable knife. It feels really good in your hand, like it's all balanced, the weight is right. And I said, exactly. So once you get these in your hands, you'll see what I'm talking about. And I think Kamikoto does such an incredible job of making these knives, which is why we traveled with them. Now Kamikoto has been kind enough to extend a $50 off for your first purchase of their knives by going to the link kamikoto.com forward slash ehome. I'm gonna put a link for that below the video as well. Make sure you use it because that'll give you $50 off these gorgeous knives so that you can have them whether you're cooking in Sicily or your home kitchen. So let's start our travels to Sicily together with a cup of coffee. It was really a hot and beautiful season when we left home to head to Italy for what also was a hot and beautiful season. It was difficult to leave the farm at this time of year, even though we were leaving it in good hands because it just meant walking away from all of the responsibilities that we have in the garden, all the preserving that needed to be done and things that needed to be accounted for. But 
As a homesteader, sometimes you have to just make the decision to walk away and let the chips fall where they may. So Stuart and Georgia and I headed out to spend two weeks touring around Sicily with friends of ours, gathering up as much food and farm inspiration as we possibly could. From where we were in Washington, it took us 24 hours to travel to Palermo. We landed very excited, quickly got into our rental car, and quickly realized how out of our element we were driving among the streets of Palermo. But we finally made it, and then collapsed and slept for as long as we could. We actually only had time for a quick nap because we were due to meet our friends Dolores and Drew and John that night. We walked down to the hotel lobby and the gentleman behind the desk said, Signor Che? I said, "Si," sí. And there was a book waiting for me and a friendly hug. It was so fun after all these months of planning to finally meet Dolores in person. Dolores and I met years ago she is the host of the Bella Figura podcast. She's also a host on the Italian American podcast, and she's also a friend. And so to finally get to meet in person and cheers to the adventure ahead was such a good feeling. Salute. We knew coming on this trip that it was going to be a time of work, not a time of rest. So after too few short of hours of sleep, we got up the next morning and headed to the heart of Palermo with our friends Lou and Jackie who were there to show us around. We had the pleasure of meeting up with John Franco at his family's 100 year old specialty run coffee shop in the heart of Palermo. Now, John Franco is the third generation to be roasting coffee at this shop. His grandfather and his father were both roasters right in the space using this very equipment. Now, what I love about John Franco and the way that he does things is that this is all done by hand. It's all done by feel. There's no recipe. You didn't see any grades of espresso beans or different types of roasts on the wall. This is all done to be the way that they like it, the way that their consumers like it. Casa Stagnita is such a special place. This is done by like a feel. Correct. Not yep. by uh, yeah. like a recipe or yep. like a grade. You just look at yes. it and then you have to train somebody else how to do the same right. thing. Right. So Our nice. experience, okay? Yeah. So my great grandfather, my grandfather, me and my brother now, okay? Okay. Yeah. Like the tradition, the family really... tradition. Yeah. yeah, there's, you know that, I mean, better than anybody. There's no, like, machine that can do what you do with your hands and your eyes. Yeah. No. It's a good cook. Yeah. It's like um, teaching somebody to make bread, can they? Like, it needs to feel yeah. like this. Yeah. 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 The coffee and product is something different, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no recipe. It's no. Uh, like you it's always like say, put your hand to something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're going to try this Can coffee. Some? Hey. Going to try the coffee? See, yeah. 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 The water before the coffee, okay? Yeah. The water yeah. before the coffee. So you drink, you drink, you have your water, your little glass of water, your little glass of espresso. If you and... share the water after the coffee, you ruin the flavor, exactly. the, okay. the aroma okay. that lingers in your mouth. Okay. You'll have to translate this for me, but the first time I came to drink coffee in Europe, they said, would you like espresso or would you like dirty, soft water? <laughs> cool. <coffee."> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Their coffee, I mean, when you have a coffee here, it leaves like a, a dark, chocolatey flavor. I, I, I have it without any sugar. Uh -huh. It's 
It seems the perfect way to start this tour of Sicily, to be in this hundred-year-old coffee shop with generational workers willing to let you in, open arms, come on in, come on up to my table. I cannot think of a warmer and better welcome to Sicily, especially since these are Jackie's stomping grounds. This is where she lives and where she works. These are her friends, and she's been willing to share them with us over a beautiful espresso. Now, a few tips for you. Sip a little water before you have your espresso and use your spoon to stir up that delicious espresso aroma before you enjoy it. Unfortunately, our rest time at Casa Stagnita did not last too long because as soon as we finished our espresso, it was time to bid farewell to John Franco and to head to the oldest farmer's market in the world. Stay tuned. 